Hey, welcome to this Flashpoint Campaign's Red Storm gameplay video. If you love modern tactical games, then don't miss a minute of what's coming up. Well, hey, welcome. It's time to play some Flashpoint Campaign's Red Storm. Going to do something different. Going to play uh, a scenario that I have played, and I believe I did in a video of from the NATO side. We're going to play it as the Soviets, which is something different. I have not done much of that. Um, the AI isn't much on setting up defenses. It's an, it's an offensive AI, uh, but this is a media engagement, so I think it'll work. It'll be interesting. That's the big thing. It'll be interesting and uh, hopefully make for a good video. So here is the recon, uh, Red Storm Recon mission briefing for eyes, ears, and teeth. Uh, we're not going to read this whole thing. You can pause the video now if you want to read the stuff I'm going to read. I'm just going to read the mission. Your mission is advance to the area around Hamelberg to determine if there are NATO forces operating there. If the way is open for Soviet forces to advance freely in the area. Reconnaissance is the key for this mission. You are to only fight the forces are light enough that you can overwhelm, overcome them quickly and secure any river crossings that may expedite our advance of our combat units into the area. Okay. Apparently I can't read again. <clears throat> In fact, I'm having a hard time breathing. <sighs> we have the 6th and 8th Reconnaissance Battalion available and the 1st Battalion, 21st Guard, Motor Rival Regiment. Okay, well, we've got the 6th and 8th Reconnaissance Battalions on the map. Actually, we've got part of those. I think we've got about two-thirds of each. Uh, each of them have two companies. Um, we'll also have the 336th Independent Helicopter Regiment supporting. Well, they're not here yet, but they're coming, and that's always a lot of fun. Uh, so, it says, U.S. Army has been battered so far. While we know their basic deployment and reaction plan, the Americans are never fully predictable. We need to know if they have moved this area along our flanks. If they, ha if they have, there could be any type of combat unit in the area. Be prepared to respond to any type of threat. And reserves? Well, you've been given enough. <laughs> you don't need any stinking reserves. So, how do I intend to do this? Well, before I get into that, let's go through the little ritual here. If you've enjoyed watching my videos before, and if you intend to watch this whole video, and you haven't yet subscribed, why haven't you? Let me know in the comments. But go ahead, hit that subscribe button. Hit the bell notification so you all know when I've posted another video. Like and share, and leave me a comment. Okay. So, let's get on the OB tab. First, let's look at C3. The guys in green are on 15-minute command cycles, expecting to be 13. We're on 24. We expect it to stay that way. It won't. It'll get worse. Hopefully, theirs will, too, as we beat them up. Uh, on the OB tab, here is the uh, Red Storm headquarters is going to go here. They've got a, it's got a very large command radius, which you can see by hitting control D. Uh, headquarters 6 Recon Battalion is going to run up to here and probably not like things that happen to it. Uh, I'm not too concerned about um, Recon Headquarters. They're just, they just, uh, the Recon units operate independently just fine. Uh, second Company 6 Recon Battalion. They are going to spread along this ridge line or this line of hills, I guess I should say. And uh, I don't like that. Why did I put him there? Put him there. And uh, observe this whole area for uh, NATO movement. I really think, I mean, you see, we got a thousand points worth of victory points here. We got 2,500 victory points here. They're going to drive for this. This is where they're coming because that's where the points are. And remember, the AI is a victory point gobbler. It's like Pac-Man. It's going to go out there and, and eat the victory points. So when you're defending or attacking, expect well, attacking against the AI, in this case, the meeting engagement, this is where you can expect them to make their big effort, wherever the biggest concentration of victory points are. So here's 1,500 in one little tight pile. You can just better believe they're going to get serious about this hill and uh, these river crossings. They're also going to be fighting in here. 
when I played this, I sent screening forces of some consequence up here because I didn't expect the AI to be too serious about a thousand points. And uh, go watch the video, see how it worked out. Me, I'm going to use these guys very aggressively. This second company is going to charge into the rear area to uh, find out what's back there and uh, hopefully overrun either uh, rear area units or whatever they send up here. We're just going to give them assault orders. I already have given them assault orders and tell them to go. Now, these orders are going to take, I mean, all the way back to here, these orders are going to take a while. That's an hour and 20 minutes away, hour and 23 minutes away. That's three command cycles and change. Giving these Soviets, or giving anybody, but especially these guys, these long-range plans is very cool because it means that your ability to respond to what you see is better than it would be if you told them to go here, then you made them stop, you gave them new orders, and it take them another 30 or 40 minutes to get sorted out and get moving. Now you can just grab the waypoints and say, no, I want you to go there. I've seen something new. I've seen something different. Okay, so that's the plan there. We'll be getting helicopters there in short order. Uh, now down here, we're going after these victory point areas. We're going to use them aggressively, but we're not going to go screaming across the board. We're just going to go take these victory points. Now, they're not going to be, they don't have orders to go hold. They're going to be screening. They're going to fight and fall back. And if the NATO makes a big push in here, these guys will not hold them. But that's okay. Because down the line, we get 21st Guards, Guards Motor Rifle Regiment right down in this area you can see as I click it shows you where they're going to show up and we're going to go take back whatever they seize and hang on to them with uh, this great big battalion of uh, tanks at least it's a it's an attrited battalion, but those are company. No, those are platoons. Excuse me, that's a tank company. Really, that's it. No, no, those are those are company size. There's a battalion. What am I thinking? There are the companies. Uh, these are not full strength, but there they are. Now, the other thing that's interesting about this is that, <laughs> unlike every other scenario you've ever played in flashpoint campaigns against the Soviets, the Soviets won't have artillery superiority here. I think got four 122 millimeter self-propelled guns. And I think here somewhere there. Six mortars. Those are some kind of funky toad mortars. Um, and that's it. I'm pretty sure my recollection, again, that the NATO forces may have something different than when I played them as NATO. I'm pretty sure you're going to find that there are a couple of pretty big, at least two pretty big batteries of M109s back here. And uh, so artillery is going to be on their side. On the other hand, we get helicopters. We should get a total of three. I remember right? It's all said and done. Or four. One there. One there, one there. Yep, three. We'll see three MI-24 units, up to six of them. So we got that going for us. All right, well, we've been chatting along. If you get the general plan, we plunge these guys into this area and deep this way and uh, try to force the AI to react or run over anything they send up there, any screening forces they send up there. If it doesn't work, you know, maybe we'll have to take this armor that comes on here and run that way. I hope not, because that battalion of motorized rifles is not going to be enough to take this if they grab it in any great strength. Um, and these guys are going to come in here and grab these victory points and screen until uh, reinforcements arrive. All right, enough chatting. It's been on way too long. What do you say we hit the button? Oh, wait, wait. Yep, 200 milliseconds, weapons. Oops.
They hit animations. That'll slow things down a little bit, but it'll be fun, more fun to watch. All right, but I don't think I said this, but this artillery is going to get down in this little gully here, and uh, then we'll start using it, hopefully, to great effect. Let's rock. And we're off and moving. Now at this point in the video, I'm always somewhat at a loss of what to say. So I talk about that I don't know what to talk about, which is kind of interesting. But it's going to take a little while for us to actually get stuck in here. Uh, I don't know. We may contact somebody in this first 20-something minutes. Um might be okay that's at 200 milliseconds I wonder if I change it on the fly if it'll matter no no changing on the fly for you and it's going really the game's not playing I don't think the game's playing slow but the uh, there's a lot going on here so the time's taking it's taking a little while for time to elapse hit pause and see yeah I don't know what was going on okay it just wasn't refreshing we're at 16 minutes instead of 23 minutes okay well we're just charging right along I think these guys are confused I don't think I paid enough attention to their pathing Uh, it this is this game is often about traffic control as much as anything else you'll get a message you know, movement delayed yeah you tried to shove you know a battalion simultaneously through one hex uh, you get a really good player would be on top of that all the time uh, me I just kind of watch it happen the screens doing some funny refresh things here And, yeah, I'd say at this point, I'm beginning to question performance again. Pause. And there he's, yeah, that's really funny. That's really interesting. I'm not real sure what to make of that. I may do something. I may actually pause the video and uh, restart from the end of this command cycle. Let's see if I can get this thing to wake up. I, I end up sitting here doing a lot of things to the game, plotting and stuff like that, and reloading when I screw up, and I think it may affect performance of the game in some way. Okay, there we go. Let's, uh, let's pull a real quick pause here, and then we'll continue. Okay. Now, oh, that ought to... That ought to take care of it if there really it may not even be a problem. Whoa, we're at 32 minutes to our next command. I mean, we went from 24 to 32 just moving across the board. They're on 14, so they are giving orders more than twice as often as we are. There's your big difference in playing one side and the other. Uh, there's not a lot to see, not a lot to say here. Uh, there's no reason to goof around talking about it. Let's just get the game on. I think we should start bumping in. We still got good weather. Weather is subject to change and we're still seeing. I'm st well, maybe I'm, you know, I think it's playing like it's playing. Oh, there we go. First contact. We're seeing some Bradleys. They're going for the victory points there. We've gotten through up here without any without any contact at all. And it's just ought to be some fighting happening here real soon. These guys are going to bump into each other right here. And they're going to win. <laughs> they're going to win. But maybe we'll draw some blood. My reconnaissance in the north 
is moving along. Oh, look at those guys. We see them. We see tanks. I see armor right there. I can't believe we actually got in there without getting shot up. That won't last. There's enough right here to push this destroyer, push us out. But we're still. And it's on. Yeah, he's uh, he's tossing his artillery around, isn't he? These guys are just get out of there. They're not liking that. We're going to grab a lot of victory points real quick, and then we're going to lose them. And then we're going to have a big fight with the mechanized rifle. That's how this is going to break down. I'm a little surprised. Again, it's the AI. I would have, I would have had guys up in here, even if it was just one lousy M3, uh, one lousy scout unit. So I'd see it coming. And, oh, they're they're wailing away on our reconnaissance. Yeah, I want, I'd want to, I'd want to see what was coming that way. Uh, block it. Give me a chance to react to it. So far, it looks like the AI is, uh, he has got, he has got that damn BRDM <laughs> unit's number, hasn't he? Oh, looks like our artillery decided to get in the game, Fire Support Control Center. And uh, this time, they actually at least got in the same place. Lord, they're not being friendly to that guy. It's just a bunch of guys with heavy machine guns. You know, you'd think it mattered. All right, our artillery's on call. Looks like our T-64's got a Bradley. That's a good thing. You see what we're spotting. There's a mortar battery and some more Bradleys. Yeah, that's, uh, this is, this is turning slap interesting. Oh, look, our ATGM unit got up there and got a Bradley. Good for him. And an Abrams. Oh, this guy's making me very happy. Look at this. Hi, guys. This guy's going to get creamed. <laughs> He's going to get creamed. And his artillery, that's his mortars, I'll bet you, falling off where we used to be. And the big guns firing where we used to be. All right. Well, that's an air defense unit. More Bradleys, mortars, Bradleys, Abrams. Yep. Did we kill one of those? I didn't see it. Control U. I don't think so. If we did, we killed it somewhere else. So that's just inaccurate. Yeah, those are the air defense guys. Uh, we did. We've hurt. We've, we've had a little fight here. Three BRDMs and some Bradleys and M1s in there. That's actually been that's actually been pretty good exchange. In fact, let's take a look at that. No, not order of battle. And then I need to look at that. I think that's already expected, but I need to look at those units. Uh, we've claimed 312. They've claimed 75. Ooh, boy. That's a great exchange rate. I didn't expect that. Uh, it won't last. But I didn't expect that. Um... Now, really, there's not a lot to do. We've got nine orders. Looks like 
we're on one of those times where our order cycles are coinciding. I can use this artillery. I wish they had I wish they had the specialized ammunition that uh, the US has, but they don't. But I could walk some artillery down this road, see if we could pick some people off, but I'm not inclined to use heavy concentrations. I'm gonna save my ammo for uh for later. Let's uh let's just hit that road they're on with uh, suppressing fire maybe we'll kill something maybe we won't and my air defense is in place those guys are good this guy is in a world of hurt these guys are uh, these guys are taking forever but these guys are all moving right along let's rotate through that stack Uh-huh, uh-huh. How long before he gets there? 15 minutes. He's going to get there before the end of the cycle. Let's shove him. All the way down to that crossroads. And we leave him alone. Him alone. He... It's a long ways out. All right, let's take a quick look. Yes, I, I know he's out of command. I don't care. He is too. Don't care. He's got orders. Everything else looks good. I think it's time to hit the button and get at least one more command cycle in, one more order cycle in, before we put a cut in this video. Let's go. Oh, they're just tearing up my little reconnaissance guy. Maybe that wasn't the brightest idea I ever had. Ooh, look what we found. Look what we found. Kill me some air defense. That would be a good thing. Well, it's uh, awkward when I get texts from my wife in the middle of trying to do this. Uh, the first of our artillery falls. Not much more than harassment. Ooh, look at the tanks here. There's two companies of tanks then. There's one up here and there's one over here. That's exciting. That's a lot of combat power. We spotted their air power. There's some. Ooh, look what we found here. Yeah, I'm loving these guys going deep. That's fun. If I was a human playing, if I was playing, I, if I was a human, that, you know, that's genius, isn't it? <laughs> I can't believe I just said that. I'm going to put it on the internet. If I was human, uh, <laughs> if I were playing the NATO side against a human or the AI and I saw this, I would flip out. Now, I'm not exactly sure what the AI is going to do. Uh-oh, we found the, oops, we found the Cobras. That might not be good for us. Nice. Kill me some air defense. That'll make things a lot... This guy's going to get creamed. That'll make things a lot nicer for the... Uh... Oof. Well, that's so much for that reconnaissance. Look, a headquarters unit. Yeah, let's sow some confusion. Let's sow some confusion back here. Uh, that was his, that, that's his mortars. That was his mortars. Oh, look at this. Are we going to run over? Or are they going to kill us? One or the other. Going to get us a piece of that? Units with assault orders will enter 
It's the only way they'll enter an opposing, uh, a hex that has uh, opposing units in it. Lord, this guy got in a bad spot. Yeah, that's not good. That Bradley tore him up. Yeah, we got some of them, though. So what the heck? They're getting out of there, too. They're not happy about it. Yes! Yes! Kill some, kill some artillery! Three M109s. I'm loving that. Wow. That's a powerful force. Oh, well, that guy was way cool while he lasted. I think he's going there too, though, so we'll see. The Cobras don't kill him. Yes, we are spreading confusion, hatred, and discontent in the rear area. We may be losing more than it's worth, but it's entertaining. And they grab that. If they've got a company of armor coming this way. They're going to grab that too. There'll be no holding it with this crowd. Let's see if I can bag that guy. Ooh, don't have to worry about it. Looks like he got a piece of him. I wanted the artillery to do it, but I'll take direct fire. Yeah, this is fun. Need more meeting engagements. Okay, we've got the first of our attack helicopters have arrived. Our uh, reconnaissance up there has gotten finally finished off and slaughtered. Those T-64s are killing air defense. Yes, 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 kill air defense is good. Uh, there's missiles being flung left and right over there. Looks like the, those guys are going to get off. I should have. Ouch! 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 Yeah, well, that was glorious while it lasted, but the Cobras are going to make short work of that. Paybacks, boys. What are these guys doing? Uh, well, <laughs> yeah, just just roll your tanks under the Cobras and see how that works for you. I got all excited about the exchange ratio. I'm not sure I'm feeling quite so good about it anymore. Although this is this is really pretty good stuff for screening forces. We're drawing artillery onto some BRDMs. What are you thinking, AI? This guy is reloading. No, he's not. I'm not sure what he's doing. Let's take a look. Somebody kill that air defense out there. Oh god, there's a bunch of it. Oh, it's a mess. I've lost two companies. But they had fun. Boy. We know where they're, uh, know where their M106s are. Might not know for long when this guy gets killed. All right, here comes more of our... Wow. Well, that was, uh... That was a bunch. Yeah, we've, we've, we've just slapped lost a company. 
just lost them. They're gone. <laughs> Let's take a look at how that's worked out. We've claimed 722. They've claimed 387. Yeah, it's not as uh, it's not as favorable as we could hope for. We've got them a little over 10 percent. They've done a lot better than that on us. Um, maybe I shouldn't be quite so excited, huh? They have kicked us in the teeth. Well, you know, it was always it was it was something to try. Uh, I do like the results over here. I love getting a piece of that artillery and a piece of that uh, headquarters unit. But this crowd is still this is still dangerous in here, and we know there are more tanks coming. So we're gonna have to give some orders. Uh, He's just, they're just out of reach from that guy. What is this guy doing? Yeah, he needs to, yep, he's resupplying. All right, well, look, we're at 31 minutes. What do you say we put a cut in it? And uh, we'll play this some more uh, later. I will see you next time. And thank you for watching. Hey, thanks for watching. If you click on that picture of Very Young Waz, you'll be subscribed so you'll never miss another video. Then click on that bell notification button and please share and comment. See you again soon.